Hi, my name is Tim Hill. I'm a pitcher for the Kansas City Royals, and I have Lynch Syndrome. Just ask Tim Hill and he'll tell you. He's the picture of health. Just recently I finished my yearly colonoscopy, CT scan, endoscopies, and then routine blood work. I feel healthy, I feel ready for the season. A big change from when Tim reported here to spring training in 2015. Fortunately for me, because of baseball, they found it. A routine Royals physical led to a diagnosis of cancer. My hemoglobin, which is your red blood cell count, was about half of what it should have been. So they did more tests and they ended up finding a tumor in my colon. At age 25, doctors suspected Tim had Lynch syndrome. He was too young for colon cancer and there was family history. The reason they tested me for colon cancer was because my dad had passed away from it at 53. Doctors explained to Tim he had a hereditary gene, Lynch syndrome, and so did his dad. It's not really a negative thing, more so you just have to go through extra steps to make sure that you're safe, like a yearly colonoscopy, which isn't really ideal, but I mean, you gotta do it if you gotta do it. It beats the, you know, alternative. Lynch syndrome can increase the risk of many types of cancer, including colorectal, uterus, ovarian, stomach, and prostate. Lynch syndrome does not skip a generation, which is among the reasons Tim Hill wanted to do this video. His message? I think the biggest, you know, mistake that people make is not getting tested and then finding out too late, kind of like what happened to my father. Uh, when, when they found me, it was, I was like right on the edge, stage three, it was not ideal. They could have found it earlier, but they also could have found it later. So I'm just thankful that they did find it in time. You know, for people out there that are just wondering maybe like, should I get tested? I think you should just go and get tested. Why not? And then just have that peace of mind. Tim Hill, Royals pitcher, living with Lynch syndrome. Hello, I'm Dr. Dineo Cabelli. I'm the Director of Gynecologic Oncology at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and the Women's Cancer Center at the University of Kansas Cancer Center. Well, Lynch syndrome is a hereditary cancer syndrome that's most commonly associated with colorectal cancer. Uh, but we see Lynch syndrome in our practice as gynecologists and gynecologic oncologists because Lynch syndrome is also associated with endometrial and in some cases, ovarian cancers. Well, it's, it's really difficult because there's no established screening method for endometrial cancer, but what's really interesting is that women who present with a diagnosis of endometrial cancer almost always have postmenopausal bleeding. So that's a sign or symptom that we try to tell people about. And in those women who have a family history of Lynch syndrome, it's important that they're aware of that so that their gynecologist can keep a closer eye on them. And what we will often do is perform a physical exam after we ask about symptoms. We'll often obtain a transvaginal ultrasound and sometimes we'll obtain an endometrial biopsy. And that may tell us if there's any precancer or early endometrial cancer that we need to treat. For women who have a history of Lynch syndrome, uh, when they're done with childbearing, we can offer them a risk-reducing hysterectomy, removing their uterus and their ovaries. And we can offer this procedure to be done minimally invasively. And we typically perform this laparoscopically or using the robot, robotic um, da Vinci, uh, minimally invasive hysterectomy is another method that we offer women. And for both methods, it's through small incisions, through a little belly button incision and other small incisions to place our instruments. And women recover much quicker than the old fashioned way of doing open hysterectomy with a big, large incision on the belly. Well, it's important to understand uh, your family history because Lynch syndrome is an inherited syndrome. It's a genetic hereditary cancer syndrome. So if there are multiple relatives in your family who have a history of colon cancer or endometrial slash uterine cancer, 
or other types of cancers like um, kidney cancer, it's important to know that history so that you can be observed, undergo genetic testing to see if you're at risk and observed more closely. And then potentially undergo a risk-reducing surgery, just as we talked about, a hysterectomy and removal of the tubes and ovaries. It's also important to undergo genetics counseling and testing if you suspect you have a history of Lynch syndrome or any other hereditary cancer syndrome because that has implications not just for you but for your entire family. And it's important to undergo that counseling process while you're being tested to understand those implications.